we want to evaluate each composite function value given the table of values for f of x, the graph of g of x, and the function rule for h of x. In our first example, we're given x equals negative two. We want to find g of f of x. And since x equals negative two, this would be g of f of negative two. To evaluate this composite function value, we begin by determining the inner function value f of negative two. So looking at the table of values for f of x, we want to find the output or function value when the input or x value is negative two. So looking at the table of values, notice here's where x equals negative two, and when x equals negative two, the output or function value is positive one. Since f of negative two equals positive one, this simplifies to g of one. Now looking at the graph of g of x, we want to find the output or function value, which would be the y value when the input or x value is positive one. So looking at the graph of g of x, notice here's where x equals positive one. At this point, notice how the y coordinate would be positive two, and therefore the function value is positive two when the input is positive one. Therefore, g of one equals positive two, which is our composite function value. Next we have x equals positive two. We want to find f of g of the quantity x minus one. And again, since x equals two, this would be f of g of the quantity two minus one, which would be f of g of one. Notice here the inner function value is g of one, so now we'll go back to the graph and determine the function value or y value when the input or x value is positive one. Which we actually just found, notice how g of one is equal to positive two. Which means this simplifies to f of two. So now we'll go to the table of values for f and determine the output or function value when the input or x value is positive two. And notice here's where x equals positive two and the function value or output is zero. And since f of two equals zero, this is our composite function value. And now for the last example, we're given x equals negative one. We want to find h of the quantity f of x minus three. So we'll first substitute negative one for x. So we would have h of f of negative one minus three. So we'll begin by determining the function value f of negative one using our table of values for f. Here's where the x value or input is negative one. And notice how the output or function value is positive three. And since f of negative one equals positive three, this would be h of the quantity three, and then minus three, which would be h of zero. To determine h of zero, we use the function rule h of x equals x squared minus three, and since the input or x value is zero, we'll substitute zero for x. So h of zero would be equal to zero squared minus three, which is negative three. So here we have a composite function value of negative three. I hope you found this helpful.